Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to be learning how to make the Horizons scarf, which you can see here in front of you in the photo. There's also a number of other photos on my website at richtexturescrochet.com and I have my sample one here. This is a fairly straightforward, easy scarf to work. It's worked using a textured chevron stitch and I had some fun with this one. You will see that the striped pattern uh, is not even and to create it I used a random stripes genu generator so it's a super fun scarf it's very eye-catching because of these stripes I've used a variety of different colors some of them maybe wouldn't normally go together but I love the way that it turned out and how it all fit together in the end so today for the design I'm going to be using a little bit of Rowan Summerlight DK. Now, not too long ago, they sent me some of this to try, uh, and this is some of that yarn, so I want to thank them so much for giving me the opportunity to try it. This is a light DK weight yarn, and it's a 100% cotton yarn. In each of these little balls, there's about 142 yards or 50 grams. And for the design, you're going to need four of them. Now, as you can see here, you'll have a little bit left over of the balls of yarn uh, once you're finished the scarf. The scarf is worked in rows, and at the end, as an option, I've added some little tassels to the points, so you can do that as well. The colors included are seashell and uh, cantaloupe, sailor blue, and plaster if you're wondering which ones I'm using here. You're also going to need a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, a yarn needle, and a pair of scissors for finishing off. Also a free written copy of the crochet pattern can be found on my website at richtexturescrochet.com and there's links to all of these items in the description of this video. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here don't forget to subscribe take a look around there's lots of other free crochet patterns here and stitch tutorials our horizon scarf today is worked in rows so you're going to start with your color a and make a slip knot you're then going to work a foundation chain and your foundation chain will need to be 41 stitches There's 20, thirty, forty, and forty-one. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin with row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook and then single crochet into each of the next five stitches. Chain two and single crochet into each of the next six stitches. Skip the next two stitches and single crochet into each of the next six stitches. You're going to repeat that chain two single crochet in each of the next six stitches
skip the next two chains and single crochet in each of the next six stitches. Repeat that all the way across. At the end of row one, you're going to chain one and turn your work. For row two, and this is going to be the same for rows two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So for the next seven rows, you're going to repeat this step. You're going to work a single crochet two together in the back loop only over the first two stitches. So your back loop only, if you look at your stitch, you have this loop that's closest to you. You have a loop that's in the back when you look at the top. This one that's furthest away is your back loop only. So you're going to be working in the back loop only from here on and in the pattern. So you're always working in the back loop. You're going to work a single crochet two together. So insert your hook into that first stitch, yarn over, drop a loop, insert your hook into the next stitch, back loop only, yarn over, draw up a loop. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. You're then going to single crochet in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches. When you come to your chain two space, in the chain two space, you're going to work a single crochet, chain two, and single crochet back into the same space. Next, single crochet in the back loop only of each of the next five stitches. Skip the next two stitches single crochet in the back loop only of each of the next five stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way across beginning with working in your next chain two space, single crochet, chain two, and single crochet then single crochet in the back loop only of each of the next five stitches. Skip the next two stitches, single crochet into the, each of the next five stitches in the back loop only. single crochet, chain two, and single crochet into the next chain two space. When you come to your final side here, you're going to single crochet in each of the next four stitches in the back loop only. You'll have two stitches remaining you're going to work a single crochet two together in those final two stitches. Chain one and turn your work. You're now going to repeat that row two six more times. So this will bring you to the end of your row eight. At the end of row eight, we're going to be switching to our color B. So when I get there, I will show you how I like to switch colors uh, in this project. At the end of row eight, this is what your work looks like. I have two stitches remaining, which is my final single crochet two together. And at the end of row eight, you're going to switch to your color B. 
So to switch to your color B, you're going to insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, drop a loop with your color A, insert your hook into the next stitch with your color A, yarn over and drop a loop, then place your color B on your hook and pull through. That is how you're going to change color. Now for my scarf, I did fasten off my color A at the end of that row eight and then weave in my ends and I did fasten off at the end of each color change all the way along. You're then going to chain one and turn your work. For the rest of the pattern, you're going to continue repeating that row two. So beginning, always working in the back loop only, single crochet two together, single crochet across to the chain two, and then single crochet, chain two, single crochet. In that chain two, uh, work one single crochet in each of the next five stitches, skip two, and repeat. So you're going to continue repeating that row, and I recommend if you would like the exact same pattern as I worked in my scarf, I recommend heading over to richtexturescrochet.com and grabbing the written pattern. I'm not going to work the whole thing here. I did use a random stripes generator to create the stripes, so you'll see that they are not even. Uh, you're working a variety of sizes of stripes, but the beauty of this is you can make it your own and work your own uh, pattern and design as well. So in the full written instructions, I did give you the row count for each color if you would like to follow along. At the end of your scarf, once you've worked it as uh, far as you'd like, it's going to measure about 57 inches long. Um, and then you're going to fasten off. If you would like, at that time, you can make some tassels. And then I attached tassels to each of the points, as you can see here but it's really up to you. And that's how you work the Horizons scarf. So thank you so much for joining me. And again, while you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and I look forward to seeing you next time for another great free crochet pattern. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.